Hello chaps, welcome to John Robson Guitar Tuition. Today I've got a really cool little trick for you uh, using a delay effect. Now, pin back your logos, this is a good one. This is a little trick that's been used by many guitarists over the years in various different genres. I first came across it about 30 years ago um, in a track called Country Boy by the fabulous country guitarist Albert Lee. Um, it's also been, I guess, most famously used by The Edge from U2 and Dave Gilmore from Pink Floyd is also another big fan of this particular technique. So what's actually going on with this? Well. I'll explain. Uh, basically the first thing you need to know is the tempo in beats per minute of the piece of music that you're going to be using this technique on. Now if you're playing with MIDI drums that's easy because you just have to look up the number it says in the tempo display and whatever you're um, doing your MIDI drums in. Um, but if you're playing with a live drummer things can be a little bit more fluid uh, so what you need to do there is, I find it's best to have the actual delay time assigned to the expression pedal on whatever multi-effects I'm using. At the moment I'm using a, a Vox Tone Lab, I swear by the things, they're brilliant. Um, and that way you can kind of tweak the delay time on the fly, as it were. Basically, what you've got to do is you've got to set your delay time uh, so that it's three quarters of a beat. If you, know the if you know the actual tempo of the song in beats per minute, you can do a calculation, which I'll show you shortly, um, to find out how long one beat actually lasts, and you set your delay time uh, to three quarters of one beat. The other thing you've got to do with your delay effect is to set the feedback to zero. Now, if you're not familiar with delay effects, what the feedback is, it's basically how many um, repeat echoes get fed back into the beginning of the effect so you get you know, kind of echoes of echoes of echoes kind of thing. We don't want any of that, we just want the note that you're playing and one single repeat echo of it so you turn the feedback to zero. It's also important that you turn the um, wet mix, that's the actual volume of the repeated notes of the echoes to the same um, output as your dry mix so that your echo notes, your repeated notes are the same volume as the actual notes that you play. And coming up now is that uh, calculation that I promised uh, to show you on how you do all of the um, figuring out of the delay time. Right, so as you can see from that calculation, um, I need a delay time of 375 milliseconds because both the examples I'm going to show you in this video are at 120 beats per minute. Coming up next is the first of those examples, kind of a big stadium rock kind of thing. Um, and It's in D minor, so I'm just basically doing a simple little D minor pentatonic thing like that, you know. Pattern 1 at the 10th fret, um, just a plain old D minor pentatonic thing. You'll hear it and see it first of all without the delay effect and then you'll hear it with the delay effect and as I'm sure you'll agree it makes quite a difference to the sound. And coming up now we have another example, this time in a completely different genre, 
This time I'm using more of a, a country kind of feel. It's based around a, a 12 bar blues in A but with a very distinct kind of uh, country sort of feel. Uh, all I'm playing on it is just the old um, chestnut, that kind of thing that I'm sure we've all heard a million times and um, it's so, this is something very similar to how I first heard this uh, trick being used by, as I said, Albert Lee on the track Country Boy. Anyway, once again you're going to uh, see and hear it without the delay first and then with the delay. Well that's it for now folks, I hope you found that interesting, informative and maybe even a little bit inspiring. Uh, this is a great way of using a delay effect, you can actually use this as part of the writing process because you can come up with riffs that would be difficult if not impossible to play without uh, using this effect. So maybe you'll get something out of it in that way. Uh, I'll leave the last word on the subject to the brilliant Bill Bailey. Here he is describing a catastrophic effects failure at a U2 gig. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye for now. Now, you know that uh, band U2, right? They've basically got this one sound, don't they? Hello! Some old Celtic bollocks. <laughs> the Edge, yeah, right. So, Without these effects, they're nothing, right? It's just all effects. Even a troll-like figure can recreate them. I'll give you a demonstration of a catastrophic technical failure at a U2 gig, right?